May 2nd, 2022. Hope everybody out there is having a good Monday today. Talk to you a little bit about this Russian Satan 2 missile. It's all we've been hearing about since they test launched it. You know, are you scared of it? That's the question. Personally, I've done told you my thoughts on the Russian nuclear war stuff. You know, if we if they bomb us with a nuclear weapon, I hope I'm either right where it goes off or I'm nowhere near the fallout. That's my two options that I'm hoping for if it does happen. I don't much see any country using nuclear weapons, though, to be honest with you. But if they do use it over there in Ukraine, I still don't see why the United States would respond to it. If it isn't attacking our infrastructure, our people, why would it be our position to retaliate against it? But, you know, more than likely we would. We would retaliate. You're hearing a lot of stuff about tactical nukes now, you know. They're just trying to keep the panic up on it. Supposedly the war was supposed to have been declared, you know, yesterday by some guy in the UK over there was saying that they expected Russia to declare war May 1st. And now you're hearing for the last couple of weeks, May 9th is going to be the day they use nuclear weapons, you know, because that's their victory against Germany day. They're keeping the panic up. I'm more concerned about food shortages availability and the rising cost of things that's what i'm more concerned with do i pay attention to what's going on over there yes i do you know because it affects what's happening here whether you want to agree to it or not it does affect our supply chains here plus you got china on lockdown you know they got cities over on lockdown that's affecting the supply chain even more so you're running out of time to get prepared as far as being able to buy stuff readily available and an affordable price we've all seen the prices go up solar generators things like that have went up you know the little camp stoves that you would put in your tent you know two years ago they were 39 to 89 dollars for an average one now they're over a hundred dollars for them there's a little emergency camp stove that you can put in a tent but you could also heat you know as long as you had a way to vent it outside you could heat a room in your house or an apartment that's that stuff shot up now your solar panels and things like that your solar systems going up a little bit and of course batteries on them are always high everybody tells you how great solar is but the one thing they don't tell you is how much the batteries cost you you're getting some serious money that's where your money is in your solar system is your batteries but to get back on point of the satan too we're hearing about it every day and to me it's you know they named it satan too which you know let's let's pump fear even more but they're saying it can hit certain countries you know within hundreds of seconds you know like two three minutes i'm not concerned about it if you are get out and get prepped up for that i'm not telling you not to you you choose what you you know you want to be concerned with here pay attention to it yes because that is what's eventually going to affect our prices here the longer this goes on we haven't seen the, the shortage and stuff coming out from there yet, except for the fertilizer and stuff. We've seen the price shoot up on it. A lot of things, if you read your labels, have sunflower in it. I didn't know that until I started reading it. You know, we got a sunflower shortage coming from Ukraine over there. But as far as the Satan 2 missile, I don't sit around and worry about it. I'm not scared of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not scared of it. I don't base my whole day off if they're going to shoot off a nuclear weapon over there or not. Now, I made a video a couple days ago, if you haven't watched it, called May 9th. Is that the day? You hear so many people predicting days, exact days when things are going to happen. There's no way that's possible. You, you might get lucky and say, yeah, so-and-so is going to do this on that day. You know, nine point nine percent out of ten times they're not right the intelligence agencies has been completely wrong on all this over there if you remember they said that russia was going to come in and just walk right across ukraine you know blitzkrieg style you know be done with it in three days well that didn't happen but what did you see when that didn't happen they started saying well ukraine's holding their own they're fighting them all but what people forget is russia didn't full-on invade they didn't come in you know, with all their air force, all their military, all that. That's something people forget, but that's a good way to make it like, you know, Ukraine's winning, winning, winning. Now, Ukraine has won some battles over there. I'm not saying they haven't. 
But as far as did the war go the way they say it was going to go, you know, think back. Go back on YouTube. Look back at some videos when it first started. They were supposed to, you know, cut the internet, cut the power, you know, blitzkrieg it, bomb it, missiles every day. All, you know, just take it over in a couple of days. Be done with three days in it. But when that didn't happen, that allowed agencies, news reporters to start saying, well, Ukraine's holding their own. You know, they're holding their own. They're fighting off the mighty Russian army. We still haven't seen the Russian, full Russian army involved over there. Russia has the capabilities of more than likely walking straight across the country if they wanted to. That's why our intelligence people said they could, they would. But that war did not start the way they said it was. Plus, they, every day they're saying they're going to invade a day, they're going to invade a day. I personally couldn't see no reason why they would invade it, you know, but they did. And now it's the, the Satan 2 missile. That's all we're hearing about, Satan 2, Satan 2. You know, the capabilities of it, the, the how fast it can fly, what its payloads and all that. Guys, we're not going to know days in advance when they're going to launch nuclear weapons. That's just not how it works. They're not going to come out and say, we're going to launch our missile, you know, May 9th at 1 p.m. Russian time. They're not going to do that. It's going to be one of these things where, they're just going to do it. If they're going to do it, they're just going to do it. They're just going to push a button in it and there it goes. That's how it's going to happen. We're not going to get, and I don't, I don't think our country honestly would tell us if we were under an attack like that. It would cause mass chaos and mass panic and not enough time to do nothing about it. Do you honestly think the country would come out? You remember a lot of us, we grew up, we had the, the, the emergency, they still do the emergency broadcast testing, but do you honestly think if we only had 15 minutes that they would come on and tell us, hey, 15 minutes, no. What would happen was once something was hit, then they would probably come on because then mass chaos has already started. Think of how it is when a hurricane or something like that happens when they warn people, you know, days in advance. Number one, a lot of people don't pay attention to it because, you know, they're like, they're not right most of the time. But when a hurricane is bearing down, what happens? You start seeing people just knock stores out, you know, buy everything off the shelves they can get. And then once the storm's there, you get you see the looting and things like that. But as far as do I think the, our own government would tell us that Russia launched a nuclear weapon? No, I don't. I don't think they would because could you imagine... If they said May 9th was the day that Russia was going to launch nuclear weapons and Russia come out and gave us an exact time and date, people wouldn't go to work, people would stay at home, your stores would be just completely empty because people, you would start seeing looting and rioting right then. They're not going to tell us. So my point of this is don't be scared of the Satan 2 missile. We're never going to know it until after it's done launched. You know, more than likely we're not going to know it until after it hits somewhere. So, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Like or dislike the video. It doesn't matter to me. Comment below. I like hearing from y'all. The more interaction I have with y'all, the higher up in analytics I go. It makes my videos get seen more. Get out there and get prepped up best you can. You know, pay attention to what's going on over there, but don't let it just consume your whole day. A lot of channels on here every day is doom and gloom. You're hearing, you know, oh, well, they're going to do this this day, that day. Don't put no faith in anybody that says, May 9th is the day it's going to happen. We don't know that. May 1st was supposedly been the declaration of war. It didn't happen. But guys, let me know your thoughts. Are you concerned with the Satan 2 missile? Or, you know, are you prepared for it? Are you fully consumed about the Satan 2 missile? You know, it just fills your day up. You're worried about it. Don't, don't be. There is nothing. We will never know when it's launched we'll know when it hits our country is not going to tell us hey you got you know 10 minutes in this city i highly doubt our country would do that but guys subscribe to the channel thank every one of you that has hope everybody out there's having a good monday stay safe get prepped up